Slinky's butt. And also Bob Lightyear. Yeah. But specifically Slinky's butt. Did not make you laugh. Did not make you smile. Please ignore the fact that my hair decided to rebel against me and stick straight up. I'm most excited to make ever. I am so excited. Okay, so. Um, I'm a big fan of Books and Lala, especially her TBR videos. Uh, she does like such fun ideas like you know regular ones like my husband picks my tbr you know things like that but then she has like really like in-depth tbrs of like really weird things and it's become kind of like a trend to do that now and so i when i was first thinking of making my booktube channel I thought of this and I got so excited and it took a while to put together but it's here okay so um as I mentioned in my um booktube newbie uh video I am from just north of Orlando and as a result I have a annual pass to Disney World and so I thought I was like wouldn't it be fun to go to Disney one day, see every single Disney princess, and then ask them what kind of book I should read. And so I did that, and I'm really excited. So, but before I start, I have to do a little bit of explanation. So, um, when it comes to the way that the Disney princesses at Disney work, is that the person who is the princess who is referred to as a friend of blank whichever princess they they do um learns a whole bunch of stuff about that princess so that when anyone asks them a question they can answer it as that princess what that comes to is like if I was asking the person pl who plays that princess outside of the princess character what type of book I should read, they could be like, oh, I'll read a, you know, uh, historical fiction set in World War II. But if they say play Merida, and I went to ask Merida what I should read, she couldn't recommend a historical fiction set in World War II, she would have to recommend something based on her character. So she could say something like, oh, read a book. I'm, I was straight up about to go into a Scottish accent and I realized that was not it, fam. But she could be like, uh, read a book about archery or a book that involves bears. What I did is I will take what the princess says and use the things that she talks about or recommends as a way to pick my book based on my own personal reading preferences. Uh, along with that, I set a couple of um, rules for myself, one being that it had to be a book that I wanted to read this month, which you'll see, I'll, I'll mention it. Um, another is that it had to be diverse. Um, I want as much diversity in this month as I possibly can get. And then another one is that I can, if possible, combine princesses together. Um, that being said, I do have quite an ambitious TBR for this month because of this. And yeah, so now I'm going to cut in uh, with I did a vlog of the entire day. Um, and I went with my niece, uh, or my adopted niece, same diff, uh, and we went and we saw all of the princesses that were available at the time, and I asked them the questions. So you'll see things like the night before, or things like the morning of, and then along with that I also have a couple of, uh, Disney facts in there because I love Disney facts and uh, just some really nice video of Disney dressed up for Christmas so yeah 
along with that, just in case anyone's just like, spoiler alert, Alice is in here. And, and if anyone is just like, why is Alice included in a Disney princess video? Uh, Alice counts as a Disney princess because Kingdom Hearts told me so, so. I don't really want to do Chiaki. So my niece is trying to figure out what cosplay she's going to wear to Disney tomorrow. <laughs> Because we make serious decisions. Yes. Like, like I'm gonna be going to ask Disney princesses what their favorite books are, and you're going to take good cosplay photos. Yeah. We have our priorities set. So I've got Mikon. Maki. And Kaede. Because if I wanted to, I could style Kaede tonight. Mm. Uh, I say, as the comfort slut I am, go in the one that's most comfortable. They're all pretty. Okay. They're all in the same realm of comfiness. I mean, you know that I love y you when you're dressed as her. I think you look real cute. Yeah. Uh, I've worn Maki out recently when I went to OAD. Okay. Um. I also need to make a distance on the top before I go out in her again. Mm. Plus, I don't really feel emo. <laughs> what are you What are you talking about? Don't feel emo. <laughs> I bet don't. That's wear, off brand. <laughs> don't want to wear dark clothes. Okay. Um, and then I just wore Mekon, and I'm scared to wear the wig to Disney. Yeah. Because of how long it is. Yeah. So I, was, I say. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That I was, one. Yeah, because I was going to do Hanukkah or Hanamaru, but I don't have, like, I don't have a cosplay for Hanamaru yet. Mm -hmm. I only have her wig. And then for um, Hanukkah, I have a cosplay. I have Little Devil, but I'm not wearing that to Disney. There's too much, and I have to keep that nice for performance. Yeah. So... Yeah. I do Kokichi Oma, but I don't have pants. <laughs> it's a huge hole. Meanwhile, I'm getting caught up on booktube, planning the Disney princesses that we're going to go see, and trying to finish this book. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> it is currently 7.19 in the morning. I'm uploading my video. I'm really tired, but today's Disney. Yay! Today's Disney. <laughs> you using the Shane Dawson palette? Yeah. Oh! You know, we fancy, fancy here. I'm fancy. <laughs> Meanwhile, she's putting on full cosplay to go to Disney, and I'm here reading my book. I'm extra. What can I say? Queens and princesses? No, because if you do queens, then obviously you have to have Mary Poppins. Obviously. <laughs> Now the pictures, but he likes to make up stories to go with them. Okay. So I always like to hear what Olaf has to say. Okay. Maybe I can help him tell you a story next time. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, of course. Do Olaf you have any? Books. Yeah. Do you have any suggestions? Oh, yeah. It would be fun to read a book about Arendelle. Okay. I think that would be a lot of fun. We learn about our history and our culture. I had to read a few books too about Arendelle, and me and my sister did together, and we learned a few things together. 
We learned about some traditions that we had too that I didn't even know we had. So okay. I think that would be fun. Thank you. We could learn a little bit about our kingdom too. Yeah, <laughs> sounds fun. Great. Thank you. And I've been asking everyone what type of books I should read. So what type of books do you think oh. I should read? Hmm. Well, I read a lot of training books, you know. Those are always very helpful. Okay. If you could find some of those, I'm sure that would help too. Thank you. <laughs> I should have brought my teddy bear because I got a teddy bear at Dust Teddy Bear. I named him Bratwurst. I want to go in there and I want to. I, I love this little cute one. Yeah. asking all the princesses what type of books I should read. Oh, well, I think all storybooks are always so lovely. I always like to read to my dwarves. We always have story time together. I read the gooseberry pie and we read all different types of stories. I don't think I have a favorite. I think they're all pretty lovely. You'll have to join us for story time sometime. Okay. <laughs> type of books I should read. Hmm. Well, do you have any tigers at home? I don't. You don't no. have any tigers? I was going to say a good a good tiger care book. That's what I'm reading recently. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Hmm. A good how-to on how to fly a magic carpet is always fun, right? Okay. Have you ever flown on a magic carpet before? I haven't, no. So there you are. You need to have a, a how-to on how to fly a magic carpet. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm asking all the princesses what type of books I should read because I actually ran out of books. What type of books? Well, I think I think Fauna would actually recommend maybe a cooking book. A cooking book? <laughs> I think that's always wonderful. Very handy too, you know. She now knows how to fold eggs in general. Very differently than last time. Mm -hmm. And I would say maybe oh, a book on animals would probably be one of my favorites. Okay. Especially Forest Friends and maybe Lovebirds too. Okay. Those are my favorites. Thank I you. That would be my recommendation. And I'm asking everyone what type of books I should read, and I figured you were the perfect person to ask. Of course. Well, I do have a lot of different recommendations. Mm -hmm. I love anything with a happy ending. Okay. But they are having a two for one Shakespearean special at the bookshop in town. So I recommend anything Shakespeare because there's some wonderful adventures in far off places. Thank you. Peter Pan is also an excellent choice. Excellent. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. trying to figure out what type of books I should pick up next. So do you have any advice? I know your sister's more of a reader than you. Well, well, no. My sister likes to only read history books that don't have any pictures in them, which I don't quite understand how one could possibly pay attention to a book with no pictures in it. Mm -hmm. I think if I had a world of my own and I could have my own type of books, I would want to have a book of only pictures so that we can write your own stories. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay, so we hit up all of the princesses at Epcot and now we're taking the monorail over to Magic Kingdom to hit up the best princesses, which is Rapunzel, Cinderella, and Tiana, and Merida. Guys, we get to be Slinky's butt. We're Slinky's butt. And also Buzz Lightyear. No, but specifically Slinky's butt. She is beauty, she is great, she is off to meet some princesses. Fun fact, all of the flags in Magic Kingdom, except for the big one at the end, are actually fake. The reason is, is that according to the flag law, you have to take down American flags at night, yeah. And so to get around that, they made them all fake flags, so they don't have to take them down every night. Fun fact for you. I'm asking all the princesses what type of books I should read because I actually ran out of them. Oh, well, my favorite book is a cookbook because I love learning new recipes. So I think you should read a cookbook. <laughs> okay, thank you. So I've asked all the princesses uh -huh. what type of books I should read so I can get my library back. I know that you like to read, so. I do, I used to read all the time mm -hmm. in my tower. You know, my favorite thing to do in Rene Books was to chart all of the stars in the sky. Okay. You know, for years I thought those were what the floating lanterns were, but mm -hmm. it turns out it was so much fun charting them all and naming them. Turns out they already had their own names. Mm -hmm. But I named them lots of things too. Maybe you should get a book of the stars. Okay. Oh, I think that would be perfect. That would. You'll have to come up with names for them yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all the princesses what type of books I should get. I really like books about adventures. Okay. Yeah, but my sister Isabel, um, mm -hmm. she's going to school and she's kind of starting to be a scientist. Okay. So she really likes to read books about math and physics and science, of course. Okay. Um, but since you said you lost your books, you'll have to come by. Okay. We have a huge library. Like I said, Issa loves to read. Yeah. Um, and her favorite place to read is probably right next to the tallest window. Okay. So you can always see the Jacklins flying by. Yeah. They're kind of like jaguars, but with wings. Mm -hmm. So you'll have to come by. I'm sure Issa would love to share her favorite spot with you. Okay. So I'm asking all the princesses what type of books I should read. Oh, that's all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I think you should read books about animal friends. Mm -hmm. Well, I have a puppy named Bruno. I think it'd be very interesting to read about them. <laughs> yes, I love Bruno. He's one of my favorites. Oh, he's my favorite as well. <laughs> them but I guess now I'm not. <laughs> this is the second time we've gotten stuck on this ride. Yay. It hasn't even been a minute. <laughs> we literally start going and then it was like oh, you're stopping again. While we're stuck again let me just say Ariel with a ponytail a look if you will. Guys look at the castle. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. Oh my gosh. Well, you should read books about mermaids. Mm -hmm. So Thank learn you. about our history, perhaps one about Atlantica too, mm -hmm. and also a guide to sailing. 
See, Prince Eric taught me how to sail, but if you don't have a Prince Eric, you can find a book about sailing so you know all about it. And perhaps you could join us for a sail sometime? Okay. I think that'd be wonderful. Thank you. Of course. Fireworks are going off in the background. We saw every single princess at St. Merida. She wasn't in today. Ah, oh, I feel very accomplished. Oh, I've never seen the Christmas tree put up before. It's so pretty. Hey, Ronnie. I think we had a good day. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, we're exhausted as all get out, but... Exciting things are on the horizon here in Future World. Whether it's rocketing back sleep. to the Big Bang with the Guardians of the Galaxy, or exploring a fun new city built on the oh, power of flooding, these so worlds I think I'm are sure to inspire. If you're her. looking for an exhilarating <laughs> sensory trip. And then I straight up slept for 15 hours and my feet hurt for a week. Welcome back. So, let's get into the books that I have for this week. Or this, this week? This month. Uh, I have already tracked down all of these books, so I either physically will have them or I'm going to be listening to them on audiobook or I am going to be borrowing them from my library. So let's get started. Uh, the first one is a combination of Anna and Alice. Both of them said something about picture books, specifically something about books where you can create your own story. So at first I thought I was going to do a choose your own adventure book, but then I thought graphic novels are really just picture books and maybe a graphic novel about a person who's trying to write their own story in their life, like create their own path in life. And that made me think of a book that has been on my TBR, a graphic novel that's been on my TBR for a long, long time, uh, which is Witch Boy by Molly Ostertag. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. Probably not. That's my brand. Uh, so yeah, this is a book about a boy in which his family, uh, girls are witches and boys are shapeshifters, but he has not shapeshift yet and he really wants to be a witch. So yeah, I'm really excited to get to this. Uh, this is going to be the only book that I have a physical copy of yet because my library is not open and I'm on my way to go get the other ones that I'm going to have a physical copy of. Uh, but for Elsa, she said something about Arendelle. Now, or about like their traditions and their, you know, values, things like that. So at first I thought I would do, um, like a book about like traditions or like traditions being like um like broken or something like that and then i went to sam's club with my roommate we go to sam's club quite often and uh sam's club has books that you can buy and i always check them out there because you can buy books for pretty good deals there and i saw this which is concealed on feel by jen contilia I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's one of the Twisted uh, Tales books that Disney has where they take like either a villain or a hero and they twist their tail a little bit. I saw this and I was like, hmm. But what really interested me was underneath the sticker, which I haven't removed yet. It says, what if Elsa and Anna, or Anna and Elsa never met each other, which interested me. So this is a book about Arendelle. And so I decided to get it. And it's really interesting to like see the story where Anna is not a big part of Elsa's life and like all that jazz. And so I'm really excited about it actually. Uh, maybe I'll like it better than I liked Frozen because fun fact, I didn't like Frozen. Although I did like Frozen too. I just saw it with my mother. Uh, the next princess that I followed was Mulan. Now Mulan said uh, she likes to read training books and so she recommended a training book to me. Now, um, when she said training books, all I could think of was, ironically enough, Books and Lala. She has a overly specific book recommendation about space training that doesn't happen in space. And so I went back to that video and I decided to take one of her recommendations, which is the final six. 
by Alexander Monier. This, <laughs> this video is just gonna be me mispronouncing authors for like 20 minutes. Uh, anyways, uh, and apparently that book is about a group of kids who are training to go and um, inhabit Jupiter's moon because uh, the earth due to climate change is falling apart and so we need to go and uh, get a new planet to live on or in this case a moon and so apparently the entire book is uh, really more focused on the training rather than the going to space so I thought that was a good fit so yeah that's gonna be my Mulan choice now when it came to Snow White she said that she loved to read stories to her dwarves I decided to do a book that I love the movie with and a whole bunch of people who love this book hate the movie and so that's The Hobbit by Tolkien. I really love The Hobbit movies. I've never read The Hobbit book. I do own the audiobook for it and I got it a while ago but I haven't gotten around to listening to it yet. Um, I'm very uh, sketchy about it because I don't like high fantasy and Tolkien is like the highest of high fantasy. Um, but I figured gotta do it somehow and maybe after reading the book I'll be able to see why people don't like the movies. So Jasmine was the hardest one and I didn't think it would be the hardest one because I definitely thought there were going to be others that would be more difficult to kind of find books for um, but it ended up being Jasmine and hers was either a, a tiger care book or a how to uh, with magic carpets so basically I took that as either something that has tigers involved in it or something that has a magic carpet in it. And despite how broad those two sound, it took me forever. Like she was the last book that I found for. And I'm not even 100% sure if um, the book that I ended up deciding really does have a magic carpet involved. I ended up going towards the magic carpet realm. Um, but the book I ended up on is The Whispers by Greg Howard. Now, um, apparently this book is about a boy whose mother is missing. Um, and so he is dealing with that. Along with that, he's dealing with the fact that he has a crush on a, another boy in a town that's in the south with a father who doesn't really seem to care about him anymore. But along with that, he um, believes that there are creatures, like fairy creatures called the Whispers, um, who can grant wishes for him. Now, I found this on a, the book, on a list of books that involve magic carpets. Um, and then when I went to look at the synopsis, I didn't see anything about magic carpets. So I then did a Google shirt, Google shirt, Google search with the book, the author, and then magic carpet. And before I could even put M.A., into it, it auto-completed magic carpet. So I'm assuming that there is one in there, and if it doesn't, well, I'm sorry, Jasmine, I failed you. <laughs> the next uh, book that I have is uh, both Aurora and Cinderella. They both mention books with animals in them, and specifically Aurora mentioned something with lovebirds. I, at first, I thought she said love story. Uh, then when I went back and I looked at my footage she said love birds but love birds are kind of something that we call people who are in love or falling in love and I really wanted to read Call Down the Hawk this month and so I decided that that's what I'm gonna read. There's a lot of animals in the Raven Cycle. Ronan himself now owns a farm he has a daughter who is a fawn so there's a lot of animal thing and then as for the lovebirds 
him and Adam are together and once again I really wanted to read this book this month because I got the audiobook um, so that me and my roommate could read it and she is going to start it as soon as she possibly can and I didn't want her to spoil anything for me. So yeah, that's going to be my choice for Aurora and Cinderella. Now, the easiest one of all of these was Belle and that's because Belle didn't pull no punches she told me exactly what to read. I thought when I went to see her she'd say something like, oh me and the beast love to read all these things or and then I'd have to do something with the beast in it but no she was straight up read a Shakespeare book or read Peter Pan. Now I've already read Peter Pan. Peter Pan is one of my favorite books. Um, I have a Peter Pan tattoo so that was out. So then it came down to Shakespeare. I'm not the biggest Shakespeare fan. Um, Q in God I Hate Shakespeare from Something Rotten. But um, I am a big fan of Shakespeare's comedies. In fact, my favorite Shakespeare play is Much Ado About Nothing. So I thought I would read a comedy and specifically one that I hadn't read before. So for Belle, I am going to read A Midsummer Night's Dream. It is a comedy that I haven't read yet. I had a lot of people in college say that it was their favorite Shakespeare, and so I'm actually kind of excited about it. Let's see if uh, my comedy breakthrough of Shakespeare is ruined by this. <laughs> Tiana's recommendation, and naturally she recommended a cookbook. Now I could read a regular cookbook, but despite the fact that I love baking and that I'm an okay cook, I don't really like cookbooks because they don't really have a lot of substance. It's mostly a lot of rec recipes, and unless you're going to go out and make all of the recipes, there's not really a reason to, like, read a cookbook. So instead, I was like, let's find a book where cooking is a big part of the story. So what I decided on was With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acovito. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. Um, this is the story of a girl who uh, is a teen mom. Uh, she's car also caring for her elderly grandmother and so she doesn't really have time to focus on her wants and dreams. She has to care for other people but she really wants to be a cook and uh, her school actually um, has a program for cooking and so it's about that. And I saw this the day after I went to Disney and I was like, it it was calling to me. It was basically saying, read me, read me, read me. And I was like, okay, I'll read you. So the next book is um, a mix of two princesses again, including my favorite, Rapunzel and Elena of Avalar, um, who actually ended up being one of my favorite interactions. Uh, I really enjoyed the uh, person who played her. Now, um, Rapunzel said to read something about the stars, which I am kind of like spinning to mean something about space, uh, which is not what I was expecting her to say at all, which was a very nice surprise. Uh, and then Elena of Avalar recommended a adventure book and something to do with science because her sister is a scientist. So what I'm going to read for those two is something that involves science and adventure and uh, space. And so I'm going to read We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. Now I've already read a Sean, Sean David Hutchinson book two months ago. It was an okay book, but I have a whole bunch of people who, that, I've, that I've, you know, seen uh, on their booktube channels who love this book. I'm really excited. Uh, it's about a boy who every couple of years he gets uh, abducted by aliens and he has to make the decision to um, either let humanity die or to stop the in their death in some way by pushing a button. And every other time uh, I believe he has chosen to stop but this time he is very bitter and he's full of a lot of pain um, 
and but he is a scientist so he decides to look on it from a scientific point of view and see exactly if humanity deserves to be saved and I'm really excited uh, uh, one person who I know loves this book is Kat from Paperback Dreams um, she, I think this was her favorite book before Radio Silence. And the last book that I'm going to be reading is Ariel's Recommendation, and she naturally recommended a book that involves mermaids. So, I don't really like mermaids, so when I was thinking about this, I didn't really want something where the mermaid was the main character, or it really focused on mermaids. So instead I kind of pivoted to where like a mermaid is involved but not necessary at the forefront. And I ended up deciding on Bayou Magic by Jewel Parker Rhodes. Um, this is a book about a girl who is uh, in the south on the bayou uh, for the summer and she thinks that it's magical she thinks there's a mermaid in the waters things like that but along with that uh, this is happening at the point of the BP uh, oil leak and so yeah um, it's a middle grade. I think it will be a really fast read through. I also really, really, as someone who's from the South and as someone who Tiana from Princess and the Frog is my second favorite princess of all time, um, I really love the Southern, like New Orleans kind of like feel to this book. So I really, really hope I enjoy it. And those are all the recommendations from the princess. Uh, naturally, I'm on the fence of if I can finish all 10 of these books. Um, I hope a lot of them I'm going to read on audiobook, uh, which will hopefully allow me to uh, get through a large majority of them. Uh, the couple that I'm going to be reading physically are things that should be simple to get through, like the graphic novel and the middle grade book. Um, and possibly if I cannot get through all these books, in December I may push this over into January but my goal for right now is to finish all of these books in December and yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope you've enjoyed seeing the uh, Disney footage seeing some of the like princesses if you're not anywhere near Disneyland or Walt Disney World which is better both historically and personally um but yeah as always there's going to be a uh, link in the description for where you can go and register to vote make sure that your voice is heard in your local state and federal elections since election season is coming up and i hope that you guys have a great rest of your day bye